right after I had Daniel, I spoke to Rabbi Schwartz privately, and I said, what can I do to help Ozi out? And he said, can you um, bake for Tom Chay Shabbos, the Yami people? And Rabbi Schwartz and I agreed on it. And we I've been doing it for five years now. I bake for um, nine widows a week. And my son and I do it together. We put them in a tray, um, six of them, and and then we put them in the oven. One of the things that attracted me to Eileen was I felt from the very beginnings of our relationship that she had that sense of warmth and uh, opening her home to all those that she, you know, that uh, that needed us. Do we have big cookies? <laughs> no, he's not allowed in the kitchen. <laughs> She's telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, from 10 in the morning to uh, 3 in the afternoon on uh, Thursdays and Fridays, I'm verboten in uh, the kitchen. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to be a part of the sisterhood and the um, life events, which helps parents the first week after birth or go off a bit of shiva. I get the calls, I send out the emails, we get the meals. We just did the Women's Health Day and then we're gonna do more throughout the year. My mother was always into chesed. She would always um, take people to hospitals, visit them. Then I learned from my mother to continue to do that as long as I can. People don't say, hey, you're Zach or you're Eileen. They say, hey, you're Daniel's, Daniel's uh, daddy or, uh, <laughs> or you're Jonah's father. We're known by our, by our children. I love taking them to show especially to the Daf Yomi uh, on Shabbos, sometimes Sunday. Daniel's been going to Daf Yomi since he's six weeks old. And uh, now that he's older, he brings the cookies, the drinks, the napkins, and says, I want to cheer too. What I've always tried to imbue in them is the excitement of both going to shul, of davening, of learning Torah, of doing mitzvahs. It's difficult uh, when a child is uh, five or two and a half, how much can they really understand? But you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised, that's true. But OZ, but OZ makes it easier. OZ really does make it easier because of the wide variety of activities that they have and of the like-minded families that, uh, that participate in all facets that the synagogue has to offer. When you get to shul, where do you go? Um, What's your favorite thing that you do in shul? Go with my daddy to groups. The shul is, is a place that takes the values that you have at home, and it's an extension of that. Um, and so it's very important to choose the right synagogue for your family. It's not so simple that you just show up and daven and come home. It's very important that the people and the, and the place um, articulate the same message and the same vision that you have here at your at your at your Shabbos table, um, or that you have uh, when you're when you're going out and about. Um, it's 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 very important that the synagogue transmit those same values of caring for other people, of feeling each other's pain, and pitching in where you can. And Ozi does a fantastic job in in uh, in sending those messages to my children. With, with, with my dad and I, and I want some when no, I I and I I I I I I walk in and I I I was as 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 during walking trip and and, and I was as I was going to show. I'd like to thank the community. I'd like to thank the rabbis, the rabbitsons and the office staff for all the work that they have done and they continue to do. Well, I've always found that these, that these thank yous are unfair because people are an amalgamation of numerous different influences. Um, and I'm sure sitting amongst everybody tonight, there's a dozen or so people, two dozen people that have had profound influences on our life. Uh, they know who they are and they can see some of their influence in the way that we go about our day. And to those people, I say thank you. Uh, there is one person who we know is not here and that is my mother who passed away approximately three, three and a quarter years ago. She had a profound influence on, um, on everything that I do from, um, from, the, from how I greet people in, in the street to the, uh, to the priorities that one sets in life. Uh, she always taught me to value family, to value my relationship to my community, and most of all to value my connection to my religion and my creator. And That's something that hopefully never, uh, never go away.